Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Video Game Masters, and today I wanted to show you guys a sweet little trick I found. So everyone knows perfect pivoting is a huge thing in Smash right now. So I decided I'm going to mix it up a little. Let's add smooth landing equipment onto it. Get some platforms on Battlefield. Um, see how it is. So how it's D wave dash. Um, you tap real fast. Kind of like flick it real fast. So you want to dash into one direction. So you dash and then flick it the other way real quick. So, I can't really do it when I'm holding it like that, but we're just gonna get Ganondorf on the ground there. Get on the ground, get on the ground, there you go. Ready? So let's show it off. Now if you're on the spot, that's an on the spot kind of thing. Don't really wanna do that, but as you can see, as you can see right there, that was the wave dash. So, perfect pivoting, pretty unique, and there it is. But with smooth landing equipment on, this is a whole new metagame. I really feel like this, in tournaments, this can make things looking like some, as you can see right there. I mean, this, that was stupid of me, I'm sorry. As you can see right there, guys, this could definitely change the metagame. I really feel like the whole wave dashing technique and the smooth landing equipment on. You can see right there, gonna go for that spike now, okay. Well, so wave dash, look, looking like melee. See how fast I recovered it? Look, look at this. Melee stuff. Throwing out that knee, doesn't want to hit, okay. Go for that down air, doesn't want to hit, okay. Down air again. Knee though. Knee dash, look at that. Neutral air gims. Back air, wave dash over here. You grab, down, okay, neutral air. Up B. Land, run over, knee, okay, weak knee, okay, I understand. Grab, throw upwards, jump back air, drop through the platform, wave dash, wave dash, knee, don't the knee, spike, doesn't want to spike, okay, I understand. So, let's wave dash. You see this? I mean, this is what we've been all been waiting for. Just showing that off, look at what I'm doing, look at what I'm doing here with the wave dashing technique. This is gonna change the metagame so hard. And this is what we've all been waiting for. This is like melee. Spike, oh, I didn't hit the spike. Oh, I recovered that. Look, okay, so I'm gonna wave dash over here. Oh, uh, actually the wave dashing thing, it's literally just, I just got used to it. So it really isn't that too hard to do. Uh, just gotta flick. Opposite direction, sometimes you get on an on spot dodge, but if you easily want to get out of that so your opponent doesn't see you mess up. Like that, you just jump, throw out a neutral air or any type of air attack. Except for like Falcon's little knee, because that would be kind of weak. Not that you can actually kind of throw that out there, but it's really unique. So I'm going to just pull out the combo. Back air, okay. Okay, so let's try this. Now with all of that being said, let's try to use all of this new wave dashing and everything in one giant effective type. So here I am, make my way down. Neutral air, neutral air, knee. Neutral air, doesn't hit. Knee will, side B. Up air, nice. Oh, missed the side B, wave dash over here, nice. True knee, or knee justice. Back air. Forward. Ooh, see? Look, that, that was good. Wave dash my way over there. Neutral, knee. Ooh, that was gonna be it. If I got that second knee hit. Boom. Neutral, neutral, shoulder, knee. Ah, no recovery, bros. Just notice every time you press reset, it goes nighttime. Look at that. See how sweet this is? Oh, I thought that Falcon kick was gonna do it. Kinda messed up there. Just trying to be fancy. Cause we are just in training. And look at this. That smooth landing equipment on. This is gonna change the metagame. So maybe in tournament play we should allow this. I'm not exactly sure quite yet. I mean, at least just this. Get all the characters equipped with this. I'm using smooth landing. 
attacks, move and or defender. I know there's agility and uh, brawl stats. It really doesn't affect too much. It only like what decreased my speed by like what 14 and increased my defense by eight or something like that. All I know is it didn't mess anything too much to the point where it's like broken. So, or get someone to actually replay it to the point where it's just like zero everything, but it gives you the st statistic. Cause I mean, look at this. Wave dash over there. Can like flick over there. Throw out a nice side smash. Look at that. Pivoting. It's actually called a perfect pivot, but everyone's calling it wave dashing. Cause it's like, oh look! Only with this type of thing. If you're just playing regular Smash 4, you can't pull that off. So it's just this neat. I feel like it needs to be in the meta. I feel like it needs to be in the game. So to further my point, to further, I feel like this should be in. We're gonna go to a perfectly flat stage. No, any. Oops, I backed that a little too far. There, sorry about that. No, nothing. Just perfectly flat. Me, Falcon, or maybe I'll do Lucina. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll do Falcon because I already know that character. Um, some level nine CPU. Gotta turn the stocks on. We'll do two. Five minutes. Oops, that was six. It doesn't really matter, but just in case. Gonna give our guys a little name tag, Donkey Kong. Get that custom fighter going, VG Master. Uh, defending. And we're gonna go to a good old final destination. Now, let's see if this is actually gonna improve the metagame or break it. Also, I am using the Wii U gamepad, aka, it's really easy to do on GameCube. Might give GameCube some advantages, but you can see there. Gonna throw that out. Spike. The kid's gonna get a nice grab. Ah, oh, dang. Back air. Messed up. DK with the grabs. Nice up air. Ah! Neutral. See, I'm recovering. Oh! The knee from years away. Look at all the attacks you can throw out. The limit, the potentials are en truly endless. Oh, DK with that new footstool. Uh. Super Spike Brothers? Ha! <laughs> How does it feel to get a footstool, DK? Okay. So, just a little bit of stuff going on. Sorry if I was quiet. I was just trying to show you guys. So, we saw that. We're going to save a replay of that. Maybe I'll slow it down. But, yeah, that, that was... That's in insane. That is crazy. That's just awesome. So, we see it. Let's kind of break this down. See exactly what happens. I think it, it's just, you know, pivoting. But I don't know why exactly it goes into a state of kind of a dash rather than just, you know, staying in place like usual. So I'm going to keep that on. Going to slow it down. I uh, guess we'll do one fourth speed, one half speed. And see how things go. Oh, big battlefield. Yay, I meant to choose final destination, but whatever. So slow the footage down. Oh, that's one way. Two thirds of the way. Dash. Oh, there we go. So you could also kind of do this. So that's more dash dancing. I forgot to put my name tag on. So 
you guys could kind of see that. Maybe that's my landing at work. Back air, back air. Throw up. That knee. Forward smash. You kind of set someone up with that. Cover. Back air. Up air. Then as I do my up air, I want to go for that back air. Do that wave, quick wave dash over there. Messes up Mega Man. And that would be a nice, easy set. So there is wave dashing. How do you do it? You just tap, tap it instantly right back after you dash. And that's how you wave dash. Now wave dashing, as you can see, with smooth landing, improves the metagame. It could definitely be very effective. I feel like this should be allowed. But it's up to you guys. Reddit, vote down in the comments below. And YouTubers, vote in the comments below. Do you think this should be allowed? It's up to you guys to decide. Should we do practice tournaments with this? Shall I host a tournament? It's up to you guys. I'm Vinny Master signing out. I'll see you guys next time.